The next order of business is the election of the President of the Senate. The Chair will entertain a motion to open the floor to nominations. Senator McCaffrey. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move that the floor be open for nominations for the Office of President of the Senate. Thank you, Senator. Is there a second to that motion? Senator Algier. Thank you, Senator. It has been moved and seconded that the floor be open for nominations. All those in favor signify by saying aye. All those opposed say nay. Aye. The ayes have it and the floor is now open for nominations. The chair recognizes Senator Coyne. Thank you. I am honored to rise today to nominate Dominic Ruggiero for re-election as our Senate president. Throughout my time in the Senate, I have been fortunate to work closely with Donnie, first as majority leader and now as president. He has always provided me with strong support as I work to enact initiatives from when I was a freshman senator working on legislation to remove firearms from domestic abusers through passage of legislation to ban 3D and ghost guns last session. He listens to the members of this chamber. He is responsive to our priorities. He bridges divides and helps find pathways to progress. And he does so whether or not he personally agrees with the issue at hand. As president, he has made our issues Senate priorities because he recognizes their importance to our constituents. And he provides the support needed to build consensus and win their enactment into law. Today, as we welcome 19 women to the Senate, I think it is also important to mention the strong support Donnie has always shown for the women in our chamber. Our voices are prominent. We are key members of Senate leadership and the priorities of the Senate reflect that. Under his leadership, the Senate each year has passed the Equal Pay Act, strong sexual harassment legislation and a prohibition on gender rating in health insurance. Each year, the Senate has passed an increase in the minimum wage. President Ruggiero has stood up on behalf of us, his colleagues, and on behalf of the residents of our state on issues like paid sick leave, education reform, housing, the environment, and health care. He has worked to increase transparency in the Senate. He was part of the team that placed new transparency requirements in the Senate rules, including greater use of television, streaming of committee hearings, <coughs> online posting of committee votes, and real-time posting of floor votes. Under his leadership, proposed subbays are now posted online in advance, which is tremendously helpful to the senators considering the legislation, as well as the public, and committees are posted earlier than they have been in the past. Most of all, Donnie has been a steady, trusted leader. He has led with integrity and treated each and every one of us with respect. He is always open and honest with us, and he keeps an open mind as he works together with us to help us succeed on behalf of those who we represent. I ask you to join me in recognizing all that Donnie has done and will continue to do to strengthen this Senate as an institution and to advance the initiatives that make our state a better place to live and work. I ask you to join me in supporting Dominic Ruggiero for re-election to the Office of, Senate of, the President, of President of the Senate. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Coyne. Is there a second to that nomination? The chair recognizes Senator Pearson. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I rise today to second the nomination of Dominic Ruggiero for the Office of President of the Senate. Um, I've known Dominic since arriving to this chamber in 2012, but as I've told many of you uh, before, I was told by some members of my family uh, that before I even arrived here, that you know, Donnie was a good man, uh, a trustworthy leader, and someone that I could count on to steer me, a new member at the time, uh, in the right direction. And sure enough, over the last eight years, um, I've had the opportunity to work with Donnie, and I'm happy today to call him a friend, and I've witnessed his commitment to his constituents, our colleagues, family, and his friends. Though no one is perfect, 
I know at this moment that Donnie is the right leader. He's the leader that can help unite all sides of this chamber, ensuring the Senate as an institution is strong. As the Dean of the Senate, I know how important that is to Donnie. Today, we welcome eight new members of the Senate. And if there's ever been a time where we need new energy and perspectives to power us through a crisis, it's now. Our state faces all kinds of issues due to this pandemic and the economic harm that it's caused. And I know we must come together and we ensure a passage of legislation across a range of issues and a budget that cares for Rhode Islanders today while investing in them for the future. I know we collectively share many priorities and I know that Donnie welcomes all of the new members and all of our returning members, members to the table. I know that he will rely on his committees and his chairs to help drive the work of the Senate. And that's how I know together working with Donnie, we can ensure that this Senate and this institution is strong. For example, I've had the opportunity to partner with Donnie and chairs such as Senator Gallo, Senator Conley and DuPont in the past on issues from school construction, education reform, pension security, reducing student loan debt, and investing in our infrastructure. But there's one thing I can also tell you about Donnie besides the issues. He's a fierce advocate for what he believes is right. And on more than one occasion, I've seen him go to toe with anyone on a Senate priority. And I've also seen him stand up for members of this chamber time and time again. And as a member of this body, it's comforting to know that the president has your back. He's been a tireless advocate for his constituents and issues important to them. Just yesterday, there was an additional settlement of $30 million reached after $17 million uh, was already approved in resolution with the St. Joseph's Retirement Plan. Donnie passionately led on this issue, partnering with the General Treasurer and the receivers to ensure that the pensions of his hardworking constituents and many of ours, and that their retirements and their pensions were secure. Looking ahead to this next session, Donnie is committed to Senate priorities that reflect the new energy in this room, like ensuring health care access for all Rhode Islanders, education equity in all communities, tax policies to support working Rhode Islanders, affordable housing, and strong legislation addressing climate change. He's also announced a diverse leadership team to help deliver on these priorities. As we begin a new session today, I am excited to get to work on these priorities and more. Working together, we can put legislation on the governor's desk and I'm confident that Dominic Ruggiero is the leader that can unite this chamber so we can deliver on behalf of all Rhode Islanders. And with that, Madam Chair, I ask my colleagues today to join me in voting for Dominic Ruggiero as President of the Senate. Thank you, Senator Pearson. Are there any additional nominations? Hearing none, the chair will entertain a motion to close the floor to nominations. The chair recognizes Senator Archambault. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move to close the floor to nominations for the office of President. Thank you, Senator. Is there a second to that motion? Senator Lombardo. Thank you, Senator. It has been moved and seconded that the floor be closed for nominations. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. All those opposed, say nay. Aye. The ayes have it, and the floor is now closed for nominations. I would like to request the reading clerk to call the roll of the body. Members, please respond by stating the name of their nominee. Senator Acosta. Aye, Senator Acosta, abstain. Senator Algier. Senator Algier, Ruggiero. Senator Anderson. I abstain. Senator Anderson, abstain. Senator Archambault. Senator Archambault, Ruggiero. Senator Bell. Abstain. Senator Bell, abstain. Senator Burke. Ruggiero. Senator Burke, Ruggiero. Senator Cano. Senator Ruggiero. Senator Cano, Ruggiero. Senator Calkin. Senator Colkin, abstain. Senator Chacon. Senator Chacon by proxy, Ruggiero. Senator Coyne. Senator Ruggiero. Senator Coyne, Ruggiero. Senator De La Cruz. No, Senator De La Cruz, Ruggiero. Senator DeMario. Senator DeMario, Ruggiero. Senator De Palma. 
Senator De Palma, Ruggiero. Senator Oyer. Senator Ruggiero. Senator Oyer, Ruggiero. Senator Felag. Senator Felag, Ruggiero. Senator Gallo. Senator Gallo, Ruggiero. Senator Golden. Senator Golden abstains. Senator Goodwin. Senator Goodwin, Ruggiero. Senator Coleman. Senator Coleman, Ruggiero. Senator Lawson. Senator Lawson, Ruggiero. Senator Lombardi. Senator Lombardi, Ruggiero. Senator Lombardo. Senator Lombardo, Ruggiero. Senator Mack. Senator Mack abstains. Senator McCaffrey. Senator McCaffrey, Ruggiero. Senator Mendes. Senator Mendes abstains. Senator Miller. Senator Miller, Ruggiero. Senator Morgan. Senator Morgan, Ruggiero. Senator Murray. Senator Murray, Ruggiero. Senator Paolino. Senator Paolino, Ruggiero. Senator Pearson. Senator Pearson, Ruggiero. Senator Picard. Senator Picard, Ruggiero. Senator Casada. Senator Casada, Ruggiero. Senator Raptakis. Senator Raptakis, Ruggiero. Senator Rogers. Senator Rogers, Ruggiero. Senator Ruggiero. Senator Ruggiero, Ruggiero. Senator Seveny. Senator Seveny, Ruggiero. Senator Sosnowski. Senator Sosnowski, Ruggiero. Senator Valverde. Senator Valverde, Ruggiero. Madam Chair, the vote is 31 votes for Senator Ruggiero. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Dominic J. Ruggiero has been elected President of the Rhode Island Senate for the years 2021 and 2022.